previously on David Mitchell's Soapbox. Our trains are overpriced, underfunded, overcrowded, dirty and slow. Successive governments treat it like an inconvenient elderly relative who won't die. Colombian bean well crushed. But the last straw, the absolute last straw, it's when I struggle into a hot, overcrowded carriage with a large suitcase, which I do sometimes, because who'd have thought it? Sometimes when people travel to somewhere, they want to stay there for a bit and so need stuff. And I have, by a miracle, found a place for my suitcase at the end of the carriage. And I hear the announcement, please do not leave luggage unattended at any time. What? Then what am I expected to do with this massive cube of clothes, toiletries and bits of electronics that weighs roughly the same as I do? Perch it on my lap. Wedge a corner of it into the inadequate bit of shelving above my head so that it can loom like the sword of Damocles over me and anyone unfortunate enough to sit near me. Sling it out of the window on a bit of string. No, what they expect me to do is precisely what I have done. Leave it at the end of the carriage. They know I have to do that. But they know that that means they can't stop it being stolen. Or indeed make sure that if it's a bomb, at least the bomber will go up with a rolling stock. But they know that what they can do is cover their own ass by asking me to do something they have made impossible so that when I inevitably don't do it, they can make out that any consequences, whether they are death, robbery or chaotic bomb scare induced delays, are all my own fault. What I ought to do when I hear that announcement is stand up and yell plaintively for the guard in a dull, repetitive squawk. And then when he arrives, tell him earnestly, my personal belongings are there at the end of the carriage. Does that count? Or should I bring them here? I certainly don't want to do anything that might reduce your liability in the event of my possessions being stolen whilst on your property. I could put them in the aisle, but people might have to clamber over them a bit. Is that all right? Or shall I go and stand by them for the duration of the journey? Only I have a heart condition. Will you sign this letter? Letter saying your company is liable if I have a coronary. So, which is it? What should I do? And what if I need the loo? Should I drag my bag with me into the cubicle? I think it might be bigger than the cubicle. What if I get jammed in there with it and a queue of other huge bag-bearing customers, all desperate to piss, formed outside the door? So, is it better if I piss where I sit? Tell you what, why don't you give Richard Branson a ring and ask him? Have you got him on speed dial? You should have. And you'd better ask him on behalf of everyone else here too. Because if we all attend our luggage at all times, the tiny bit of space that's the only place you can realistically put luggage is going to get awfully crowded. But I'm sure he's thought of that and has a plan. Go on, ring him up. Don't worry about us. We'll wait. <laughs>